Here are your hosts of the Mets cast, Nick Durst and John Brown. Episode 10 of the Mets cast right here on WGSports.com. The perfect 10, the 10th episode. Too bad the Mets season has not been perfect so far. They got off to a perfect start and they've been terrible since. And then Sandy Larson comes out saying, oh, everyone was so quick to praise us when we were 11-1, but nobody really said anything that we were able to go 8-8. and You went 500 and then you lost the next four games. You get swept by the Cubs. Absolute garbage. Terrible, disgraceful, and Sandy Olsen is to blame for all the match troubles. I had enough of this guy. I'm Nick Durst, and John, he's unable to join us this evening. He's on assignment, but we do have a very special guest, a contributor uh, for WGSports.com. What's going on, Nikki? What's going on? It's Teddy C. from the borough of Staten Island. The Mets stunk. I just put the fire out in City Field. There was a fire in right field. I just put it out, pal. I'm back. There was there was literally a fire at City Field last week. I mean, how symbolic of the Mets season? It, like you just got the lightning and the thunder. <laughs> when it rains, it pours, Nikki. When it rains, it pours. They're just Horrible. It's just it's just one bad thing after the other. It, it, I can't. And I, 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 there's only one man to blame, Teddy, and it's Sandy Alderson. How does this guy still have a freaking job in the major leagues? He's a terrible general manager. Trash. Trash. Get him out. Get him out of Queens. Get him out of Queens now. This guy does not know what he's doing. Let's look at his most recent blunder. And this happened last week. He, I'm listening. I'm listening. he designates for assignment the Mets' top pitching prospect, the one of them, P.J. Conlon, after his second major league start. This is, remember, this guy's a lefty, and lefties are a hot commodity in the major leagues. And he immediately gets picked up. By the Dodgers. Do you yeah. do you remember who the last Met was that they DFA they got picked up by the Dodgers? Who I, I, oh yeah, we big Justin Turner. Yeah, so big Justin Turner. That's right, history, Justin Turner. How history could I might be repeating itself, and I don't understand that how they did not how they DFA a young talent like this, and they keep freaking Hansel Robles. It's a bird. It's a plane. No, it's another home run ball. Go to the fence that Hans Arolas is pointing at. <laughs> you know, Nick, he's so bad. I don't know how he has a job, too. I mean, I don't know how they let him go out there. How do they let this All guy this go out loves there? This guy. He, he, he's like a cat, except he has like 50 lives. Every time he comes in the game, he gives up a home run, and he gets sent to the minors, and he comes back up. He sucks in the minors. I don't know. And, and Teddy... What what is he pointing at? Have you ever heard Jay Bruce after a game say, "Yeah, it was it was a, it was a, it was a tough catch, but luckily I, I saw Robles was pointing at the ball and I was able to track it down." <laughs> Yo, I don't know what I don't know what he's thinking when he does that, man. He's trash. He needs to go ASAP. Get this guy off the field. Like a number of these players in this team need to go. He's the he's the he's at the top he's of the list. He's number one. I mean, he's he, number one. He, the other day, Lugo he starts. He goes four scoreless innings, and you're like, you got to send this guy back out there. I don't care if he's not stretched out, because Lugo's been good this year. And who do, who do they bring in in the next inning? Who, and he gives, he gives up a home run right away. <laughs> Robles. Yeah. It's so bad, bro. I can't believe they took out Lugo in that game, man. I, I really wanted to see him go more. I thought he had a lot of stuff that day, and they just take him out like that and send out the worst pitcher on the oh. team? Uh, listen, listen to Robles' fantastic numbers this season. He's got a 470 ERA. He's pitched 13 games, okay? Oh and he he has he's pitched 15 innings. In 15 innings, he's given up 17 hits and he's <laughs> given up eight runs on six home runs. He's a joke, bro. He's a joke. He's like the he's like the 
He's like the he's like the new Aaron Heilman of this team. Oh my gosh, Aaron Heilman, oh, <laughs> um, another guy they fricked love. And then they send Robles to the minors, and he he sucks there too. Like what justifies that that they should bring him back up after he's just terrible? And the funny thing was like the other the other game when Ramos throws the wild pitch uh, on ball four to to walk in the winning run. Gary Cohen goes. What in the holy name of Hansel Robles just happened? I mean, because Robles is just—he's mentally he's, not that. He's—he's—he's a, he's, he's a laughing stock of the organization, man. And the announcers are abusing him. It, it's that's it's that bad. Right. So that's just the latest line of moves that all the sin has screwed up. All the sin takes over the team in 2010. Let me let's go through all these years, eight years. Of people he signed that were like complete garbage. I mean, he's had garbage. a few. He's had a few like good signings, and we'll mention those too. But so many garbage ones. All right, 2010, 2011 off season, he takes over. First guy he signs, DJ Carrasco. What do, what do you think, Teddy? Uh, I mean, I, is he still on the team? And did no. he put a, a, a? He's horrible. Taylor Buckles, Blaine Boyer, Tim Burdak, who they are obsessed with. <laughs> Dale Thayer, uh, they bring back Jason Isringhausen. He was good that year as the closer. Chris Capuano, who did nothing, but then he, he destroyed the Mets in the 2015 World Series. Yep. Uh, and, or, and Chris Young, he destroyed the Mets. Chris Young, great, uh, great, yeah. great, great, great all-time Mets. Yeah. Great, uh, uh, yeah. great all-time Mets. Great, Chris Young, the pitcher. The other Chris Young was even more garbage. We'll get to him. Ronnie oh, Paulino, God. remember him? Oh, oh, oh my, my God. God. Terrible. Uh, Scott Harris did, and Willie Harris. I mean, what a freaking offseason that was. Jeez. All stars. So they All sucked stars. that year, of course. Um, and then the next year, he decides, let me go sign bench players. He gets Vinny Rotino, a catcher. Ronnie Cedeno, a catcher. Fred Lewis. <laughs> who? Fred who? Fred Omar, who? I don't even... And Omar Quintanilla, who, he was, he was okay. Rob Johnson, I think it's like a bullpen catcher now. And he gets, he, he, and he's like, and this is the thing that pissed me off the most. Every year the Mets need to fix their bullpen, and he never does. And every time he signs a reliever, it's terrible. He signed Big John Roush and oh my Frank God. Francisco. Oh, these names are uh, bringing back nightmares, bro. Yeah, and he, and he released Jeremy Hefner, who was actually coming off a sal a sal year. So that was another terrible offseason. Then we get to 2012-2013. Uh, he finally gets rid of Manny, Manny Acosta, who we love. Manny Acosta's games. That guy was a bum, okay? <laughs> bum. So another bum. Bad. Uh, he signs Carlos Torres, who was actually pretty solid. David Arzva, who was solid. Uh, then he signs Scott Rice, who really didn't pan out. Some guy named Greg Burke. He got uh, Troy, Le, Le, Troy Hawkins was good. He brought back Pedro Feliciano, who I don't think he pitched the game. Brandon Lyon, who didn't pitch. And then he signed Aaron Laffey. Does that sound familiar? Because this guy absolutely sucked. And then last week they signed him again. From, He's a legend. From, He's a legend. From, That's why we signed him. They signed him from independent ball. He wasn't <laughs> even in, in minor league baseball. You can't make this shit up. You can't right. make it up, man. And then he he, he, let, he lets Big Pelf go. Big Pelfrey's gone. He signed Sean Markham, uh, you know, a former phenom with the Blue Jays coming off injuries. Yeah. And yeah, the sorry. guy the guy goes uh, 0-9 in 11 starts with a 5-7-6 year uh, And then he gets – and then he, in the year, he, he decides to bring in Dice K. Uh, I mean, there's not one good, really good player has made any impact here. 2013-14, he actually made two solid moves. He brought in Granderson, and he signed Bartolo Colon. Big Bart, Big yeah. Bart, Big Sexy, baby. But this is the offseason where he got rid of Justin Turner, who I think they can really right now, need right now. And he signed, he signed the immortal Chris frickin' Young to play <laughs> center field to a whopping $7.25 million. I, I, I think he had one good year, Chris Young, in his whole career with the Orioles, right? Is that correct? No, uh, maybe with, like, the Diamondbacks. I mean, I, I don't know. This guy is just... Nobody wanted him, and they finally had to get rid of him in the middle of the year. Oh, my gosh. So that was then. Then we got to the 2014-15, you know, off season here, and 
Thank goodness they signed this guy because they were not getting to the World Series without John Mayberry Jr. <laughs> he was a uh, he was a uh, an amazing outfit. What are you talking about, man? The guy couldn't hit. Uh, he's batting like first and fourth every night. And again, they got rid of him. Um, and then they also signed Michael Kadir to a two year deal. And they had to give up a draft pick. They got to the World Series, but was that really worth giving up the draft pick with the way this farm system is, Teddy? Not at all, man. The farm system is dismal. Dismal at best. So bad. Um, and then you get to 2016, uh, and they they literally signed nobody. And not one person was signed in 2016. <laughs> They just, they just brought back the whole, the whole the whole team. The whole team was back. I mean, I think maybe <laughs> Alejandro Diaz was in there one of these years. That was another fantastic signing. Remember him? But, oh uh, yeah, they, they bring the whole team back, and they expect it to be better. But the big thing there was that they actually uh, – well, 2016, let me correct myself. 2016, they, they made some moves, actually, where they, they – Signed Antonio Bastardo. I mean, wasn't that like a fantastic signing? They signed Antonio Bastardo, and he was so bad that they had to trade him for John Neese, who was absolutely yeah. terrible. <laughs> and they, and of course, they got Alejandro Diaz. And the big problem here was that they decided to trade for Neil Walker, and they let Dana Murphy go to the Nationals. The worst thing that we could ever do in the world. In the world, is give up Daniel Murphy. The last two seasons, the Nationals were not winning the division without Daniel Murphy, who was arguably the best hitter in baseball. And, and he killed us. He killed us. He had so many home runs against us. Yeah, it, he had like was... a 23-game hit streak against the Mets. Yep. It's, it, the numbers were staggering against the Mets. And he, they, they deserved it, bro. They deserved it. Karma bit us in the ass. Right. And then 2017 was when I didn't, they didn't sign anybody. Every, literally everybody, everybody came back. The whole, the whole team from 2016. This team that lost the wild card game. They've been the whole team back. And they were terrible. And then we trade people off. The Mets trade people off. Tell me, Teddy, who did they get back that a value in all their trades last offseason? Nobody. Who did we get back? Who did no we get one, back? No one. No one. And... Then you get to this offseason, and first thing that Olsen does, he can't wait. He has to go out and sign Anthony Swarzak. You know, <laughs> has this guy been in witness protection program this season? I, I haven't seen him around. <laughs> he hasn't been around. Yeah, so no, but another fantastic reliever signing. I mean, this goes uh, like when they, got, when they got Kyle Farnsworth back in the day. I mean, it, it these never people ends. are terrible. I don't know what he's doing. I don't know what he's looking at and who's who's helping him. And I don't know. He doesn't, he his doesn't know what he's office. doing. And, then, and the other thing, I mean, he, he brings in Frazier. I didn't have a problem with that. He gets Gonzalez on the cheap. But he goes out and he gives Jay Bruce this huge contract. I'm sick over it. I'm sick over that contract. He's trash. I don't know why we re-signed him. I can't believe it still. Jay Bruce has, I think, two home runs this season. Like six yeah. RBIs. And he he plays right field. They didn't need a right field. They needed a center fielder because they had Conforto. And yep. now they have they have Brandon Nimmo. And Stud. once Cespedes comes up to DL, you have to bench Jay Bruce. You cannot yeah. bench Brandon Nimmo. You can't. The kid is a stud. He's the only shining light of our season. It's Brandon Nimmo. And thank God, thank God we didn't trade him the last year for McCutcheon or Harrison on the Pirates. Yeah, they, he's he's leading the league on base percentage. Every time you look up, he's on base, whether he's uh, bunting or getting hit by the ball. And that's the other thing with with all the sin is that he does not know how to scout properly. Because other than Nimmo, who he drafted, Conforto, who he drafted, and Rosario, who he signed, he has been terrible at getting these uh, guys through the draft or through international free agency because. He, everybody he's gotten has not even made an impact in the majors. And the 2015 World Series team was made up of mostly guys that Omar Mania drafted or signed. You're right, man. You're right. You're absolutely right about that. I mean, uh, when does it end? When does it end? When is he gone? When is he gone? 
He, let's bring back Jose Reyes. Let's bring back Jose Reyes, please. Well, Wait, speaking, please. Of, speaking of Jose Reyes, you have to remember this other blunder by Alderson. In 2011, <laughs> Reyes wins the batting title, right? And, yeah, I remember, man. And Trust Alderson me. had no intention of ever re-signing him. So what does he do? He just he has him play the season. He wins the batting title. And then he doesn't even try to sign him. The Marlins give him a, a cheap deal. He goes to the Marlins. Why did Alderson, if he knew he wasn't going to sign Reyes in the offseason, maybe offer him a deal, why did he trade him and get some prospects? Yeah, I mean, it's mind-boggling. I don't know what is going on with his head or his brain. But, hey, let's keep him and not even re-sign him and and don't get anything from him. Let him walk. I don't understand his his thought process, Nick. I'm so over this guy. I'm so over this guy. He's been there for too long. What are we doing? What are we doing? I think it's I think it's time for him to, to be gone and just let Omar Minaya be GM again. At least he can evaluate talent. I don't know, Nick. I don't know. I look at the Yankees, the team across, uh, in the Bronx, and they have all studs in their lineup. All studs. From Miguel Andujar to Torres to Gary Sanchez. We don't have nobody. Who's, who's the guy on the team right now we could say is, is, is great? Nobody. Nobody. Trash. It's all trash. Sandy Olsen is trash. I'm sick of it. Right. And we got the Subway Series coming up this weekend. How do you think that's going to play out? Um, I'll, I'll be there on Monday, July, uh, June 11th. Excuse me, June 11th. And I'm going with a bunch of Yankee fans and a bunch of Mets fans. And I don't even want to go anymore. I don't even want to go because we're going to get booed out of the building. The only thing that I'll say in regards to the Subway Series, is that Syndergaard and DeGrom are supposed to pitch. So, uh, Nick, I, I wouldn't hold your breath. You know, this team, God forbid, I don't know. This guy, Syndergaard, supposed to start this weekend. I think Sunday, I heard. And God only knows. Something will happen to his, his elbow. Or it's, I don't know. It's throwing, other throwing finger. I, I can't. I can't. I, we can't. We, you know, we, we, can, we can't do this anymore, Nick. I, I'm just sick. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. How about DeGrom? I mean, this guy is the best pitcher in baseball. Uh, he's left the game, like every game with the lead. 22 times in his career, he's left the game in the lead. And he has four wins on the season. And this, in most of these starts, he's given up a run or less. This this, this poor guy. I, I mean, I really, I, I, he's, he's a stud. He's our gem. I mean, how could they, they, we don't give this guy run support. It's embarrassing. We should just put him out of his misery and fucking sign the guy. Excuse my language. Bleep that out, Nicky boy. But we we should trade this guy away because put him out of his misery. He doesn't deserve this. He deserves better. He deserves a winning team. I mean, I feel so bad for this guy. He pitches his heart out. Seven innings a game, and we do squat for him. We do squat for him. Yeah, I mean, you might as well just start Robles if you're going to – because the guy can't get the win anyway because they yeah, – I mean, Exactly. You might as well just start with Robles. You might as well. You might as well because the guy can't get a win and can't catch a break from this team to save his life. I, I, I don't understand it. I don't understand it. Well, it's looking like it's looking like the end of the season is coming real quick. Console the season, my friend. We should all console. I would cancel it right now if I were all the Mets fans out there. It's looking dark. I don't know. I mean, you have to hope that for somehow they get healthy, Cespedes comes back. They can win a few games, but the way the, the way the bullpen looks, because I gotta give I gotta give credit to the starters right now. Uh, Wheel is looking look good his last time through. Max has had a few good starts in a row. Uh, so that's that's four that's four four starters who have been looking you know good. Uh, Vargas, oh trash. Let's talk about oh that. God. Talk about that free agent signing. By oh my side. god, I, I can't tell you. He he makes me scratch my head. He's he's unwatchable. I, I I just can't. He gives. I just can't even talk about it. And him. of course, his last start, he pitches on three days rest, and he goes five scoreless, and they pull him at like sixty five pitches. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah I, think, I, I think Vargas should only start in three days rest for now on. Yeah, me too. I mean, it seems to work for him. So, right. might so as well start out there. And Lugo, I think this guy's going to be a starter. I, he he looks really good. So I, like- I don't know what's going on. I don't know, man. They need to make moves. This guy Mickey needs to get his head together. And and figure out what's going on with this rotation and this bullpen because the season is imploding right before our eyes. The fires are starting. I mean, what's what's going to happen next, Nick? What could happen next? 
you know what? I, it, it, it could get worse. I mean, the ground might need Tommy John and be out for next oh, season. So. I'm a defeated. I'm defeated, Nick. I'm so defeated. My spirits. Uh, I'm just. I'm just. A, I'm. I'm down on this team, man. I'm so down. It's it's sad. I, we had t- such high hopes, especially after the eleven and one start when they were the best team in baseball. And now it's just it's just they can't get it together. And there's only one man to blame, Teddy. Yeah, that man's the big A, Sandy Alderson. Yeah. All right, yep. that's gonna do it for this episode of Mets Cast. Uh, if you're a Mets fan, just hope that the end is near with Sandy Alderson. And hopefully, nobody else gets hurt in the next couple of days. You have to hope that Cespedes comes back and just crushes home runs against the Yankees because at this point, some, something's got to give. So until next time, everybody, enjoy the games, hope for the best, and let's go, Mets. Let's go, Mets.